we should now be seeing the Apple II. There you go. Howdy. So we are, we're going to switch to a, um, a Western themed strategy game from Strategic Simulations Inc. SSI, appropriately enough. Uh, 1985. Um, Apple II version, as I mentioned. I do, I'm probably going to have to get the, uh, the manual up as well. So let's just hang on for that for a sec. That would be files under game documentation now, wouldn't it? Um, so yeah, six gun shootout. It is a Western themed strategy game that exists only kind of within the space of a set number of scenarios in which you get two players uh, either side um, of, a, uh, of a combat situation and uh, yeah, the, they're very much composed of set characters with set equipment and uh, set things they can do. Um, there's all there's all sorts of stuff. Um, I have to remind myself of some of this definitely as I go through. Um, but you can be positioned uh, in different ways. You can, your stance can be different. You can be uh, prone, kneeling, erect. Yeah, it's one of those uh, one of those games where. Uh, Uh, yeah, only erect men can do certain things. Uh, yep, yeah, one of those ones. Um, so it reminds me very much of sort of a tabletop war game, uh, skirmish game kind of rules. Um, but it's kind of it's kind of piqued my interest um, because it was more character based and more like story situation based than uh, than some strategy games I have um, I've seen. Especially some for the time as well. Uh, so let's give this a go. So I need to do a new game. That's correct. Um, and change to uh, let's be that. So within within each scenario, they've nominated one party to be the good guys and one party to be the bad guys. Um, so computer bad guys. Let's be the uh, quote unquote good guys at the gunfight at the OK Corral. Why not? And then spacebar to begin. Excellent. Scenario variations. One, no changes, or we can randomize stuff. It's uh, going to be a challenge enough uh, as it is set up. So let's just go that. Do you wish a personal character? So this is kind of you can make it into a campaign, which is interesting. So you can kind of role play it a bit, um, but you can you can create a character and try and get them through all the scenarios. Um, I'm trying to remember what the the caveat to that was that didn't make it sound very attractive. Um, I think your um, that way your abilities can vary from scenario to scenario. But if you do badly, then they decrease. Um, is what I understand. So it didn't really sound like it would be particularly worthwhile to me. So I'm going to say no to that. We'll just go with the. So these are our. So I don't know much about the historical gunfight at the OK Corral, but I assume these people were present. We've got Billy Claiborne, Tom McClowry, Billy Clanton, I know that name, uh, Frank McClowry and Ike Clanton. Uh, who will carry the dynamite? So I haven't been successfully been able to deploy any dynamite so far whilst playing this game, but uh, you get some and it can be used to destroy some terrain, I think, because the terrain is is a is a thing. Uh, let's say that I can't remember how this one plays out, but let's say Billy gets the sorry, Billy Clanton gets the dynamite. There you go. And then the bad guys are Morgan Earp, Virgil Earp, Doc Holliday, and Wyatt Earp, who um, I do recognise some of. Who will carry their dynamite? Well, I think Doc Holliday uh, seems like a dynamite wielder to me. Review forces, sure. Good guys ready? Uh, yeah? Cool. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, I'll just try and run through some of what this is. So three is going to be the movement speed. I think. Where does this manual describe what all this means? Kind of not at the start where you might hope it would. So that's good. Assigning dynamite. Okay. Uh, 
Well, I guess we ought to write down, haven't we? Yeah, I'll write down Billy. That's Billy Clanton who had the dynamite, all right? Dynamite. Okay, so, yeah, so first, body, the body stat, I remember that is um, kind of the points they've got for each part of their body. Come on, it describes it somewhere. Where is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. This is it. So, uh, name, and then where relevant is then has their posture, uh, but not relevant here. So, uh, their body stats are four in order from left to right head, chest, gut, right arm, left arm, left leg, right leg. So, you can do localized damage in this game, which is interesting. Uh, and then an MDA pistol is medium double action pistol. Um, speed and accuracy yeah I guess that, that explains itself doesn't it kind of and movement of three is kind of how far you can move so that kind of, yeah that kind of explains itself so we'll see that I think for um, each of our characters it's Tom McClowry Billy Clanton also uh, has dynamite still not quite sure how to use it um, Frank oh, right. okay Bad guys ready? Yeah. Oh, I think I pressed U back. But yeah, they took that as a yes. So Morgan up. Um, you know what? I think the bad guys might have higher stats than us, but I'm not sure. And more stuff, more weaponry. So that's not great. I do remember this first scenario being quite challenging. So the kind of the, um, I guess the downside to to this is that the. Um, the sprites that you get presented with don't have a lot of the personality um, that the um, the other factors uh, describe, but I guess that's um, that's a thing of its time, isn't it? So do I want to save the game? I'm not going to bother to create a save disk for this, as we're just playing it as an example. But let's uh, see what happens. So these guys are doing stuff. From what I remember is. The first, first turn round, all you can really do is ready a weapon. You don't even get the opportunity to move. Um, so there are certain restrictions on there that I don't quite understand. Um, and the movement is done with the numpad, um, I believe. Well, not actually, not quite. It doesn't really conform to a numpad, does it? Uh, it's got its own. It's got its own number. I mean, actually, it might conform to the numpad on the Apple II. In in all fairness. Not on a modern keyboard day. Um, well, let's get Billy Clanton to ready a weapon, as you can't throw any dynamite. Ready. Oh, you know what? I remember. This doesn't work. Billy Clanton can't do anything. Uh, so let's exit. Uh, and that might be a bug. I don't know if that's intentional. So Frank McClowry, um, I think, can ready a weapon. Yeah, so the high damage. Is it high damage? No, high heavy sorry heavy double action I mean a heavy it seems like you're gonna if you're gonna go for anything you're gonna go for your heavy double action pistol right what are you doing doc turn the sound up a little bit for us oh yeah I should be there um doc holiday hit Frank McClary serious wound to the chest oh yeah doc holiday gets loads of attacks I think uh Doco's got a multiple action set up. Uh, I think Frank's going to be dead in the first round. If I'm perfectly honest. Frank. Doco they got one. Frank McClary bites the dust. Mortally wounded in the chest. Bad guys score 31 BP. Oh yeah, so. Uh, you win a scenario by getting the most victory points. So it doesn't matter whether you have the most survivors or not. And you can, in theory, or your team can or be kills and you can still win on victory points theoretically um, it does go into some explanation as to uh, uh, what a Pyrrhic victory is here um, but the th what was the thing I want to mention I forgot now um, I found the thing for this scenario in the manual let me read you this so this is uh, C scenario C it's the first scenario you can do the gunfight at the OK Corral history is unclear as to who the good guys and who, who were the good guys and who were the bad guys at the OK Corral? 
The Clantons and McClowries were rustlers and thieves. At the same time, despite their badges, the Earps were some of the most heartless and frightening killers of their time. A long and bitter feud climaxed on October 26, 1881, as Wyatt Virgil and Morgan Earp, along with Doc Holliday, confronted the Clantons and McClowries for the last time on a backlot in Tombstone, Arizona. Um, and it shows you the sort of starting positions for everybody, which actually is quite handy. Um, it's kind of when you get there. Oh, yeah, I know. I was thinking the, uh, the vi yeah, so I found the victory points section. So victory points, how are, how are victory points determined, you might wonder? Is it a set amount for, um, for taking out uh, a member of the opposite party? Well, let me tell you. So it's determ <laughs> determined according to the following formula. Movement speed base plus hand-to-hand -hand rating plus long arm speed plus long arm accuracy plus side arm speed plus side arm accuracy plus hand arm speed plus hand arm accuracy. Uh, so you get that from your <laughs> from the person you took down. Um, full victory points are awarded for dead opponents, half victory points are awarded for incapacitated opponents, no victory points are awarded for incapacitation or death of unarmed opponents. So that's uh, something to bear in mind. Uh, yeah, so I think, there's, uh, I think there's probably a bit too much detail here for me to really concentrate on uh, playing this to its full, uh, full strategic capability. Um, let's get Tom a repeater loaded. Well, not loaded. Yeah, I guess it's loaded, isn't it? You, you, there is reloading in this as well. Uh, so why up uh, hit Billy Clanton minor wound to the chest? Nobody hit anybody, please. Virgil Earp 614. So you'll notice that the um, some of the sprites have changed. So you, once you're armed up, then you uh, you successfully uh, gain your cowboy hat. And uh, an action pose of some kind, uh, related in some way to uh, to what you're carrying. Right, so now Billy Clanton can do stuff. He can move. Uh, okay, so I, I guess I need to explain what after the move command, what P, K, E, and X are. Um, they are here somewhere. I did remind myself as well. So uh, P has changed the posture. Um, K is. Oh, you know what? They're all postures, so uh, P is prone, K is kneeling, E is erect, X is exit the fire routine, return to command display. Does that make sense? I think it's just X, see it? I think that's just exit, right? Um, so in th let me hang on, where's the dynamite? D, in theory, D is used dynamite. So accepted only during phasing for the character previously designated the dynamite carrier. The computer prompts for the direction of an adjacent space into which the dynamite is to be thrown. Dynamite may not be thrown into a square containing another character. Unfortunately, the indicated space is turned into a clear space for the remainder of the game. This command is to be used only once for each side during a scenario. Well, can I get it to clear this corner of building out? Does that work? Can I do that? Throw so diamond in which direction? Well, maybe I can. Uh, three should be the space to the right. Ah, <gasps> it did work. Amazing. Maybe before I just never remembered who had the dynamite. Okay, so Billy Claiborne, get get your MD MDMA ready. For goodness sake, like clan and get you get a weapon ready. You're oh. You only went and brought a knife to a gunfight, Ike. Oh well. Um, I think you can throw a knife? I think you can throw a knife. Virgil up hit Ike Clanton a serious wound to the left arm. Yeah, I think Ike is, doesn't survive very often when I play this scenario. Okay, Don McClary, segment three. Move command, one to A, or fire. Well, let's... Sometimes you can move and fire, but not always. And I'm not quite sure what makes a difference. Let's try moving. Yes, okay, and then firing. And then I think we can... So here we've got a bit more free reign. We can uh, pop across all the squares to find a target. Let's go for 
Doc, because Doc does a lot of attacks in a round. Let's... Oh, I just remember there's a special thing that you press to actually select a person. Um, it's very handy that it shows you all their stats, um, if you were kind of paying attention to what all that meant. So nine, nine. So the one that isn't actually a movement um, option, number nine, is to select that target. And then we hit Doc Arde, minor wound to left arm. Well, that's better than missing. I'll take it. Ike. So, <laughs> are you going to ready? Oh, you can't. Okay. Um, can you fire? Okay. Um, this is yeah. So I think I think we'd be throwing our knife at this point. Um, let's let's try and get Doc again. We might as well take out the same person, right? Okay, Doc. You're going down. I can't hit Doc Holiday. Minor wound to the chest. He's got a he's got a blinking knife in the chest now. Okay. I minimised my. Uh... There we go. Let's minimise the uh, the manual so I can see see the chat if anybody wants to say anything. Okay. Um, right, Billy. So far, you've <laughs> you've blown a hole in the wall and haven't readied a weapon. Um, you've got two MD MDA pistols. I don't think you can double hand them. I don't think you have one in each hand. I don't think that's possible. Oh, thanks. Morgan App, Mist Ike Clampton. Thank you, random number generator. White Earp, segment three. Why I pick Billy Clanton, minor wound to the chest. Is there such a thing as a minor wound to the chest? Is what I wanna is what I wanna put out there. Um Doc Holiday. Oh, missed. Yes, missed Tom McClary. So far my team has survived a lot longer than in other playthroughs of this scenario. Oh, so Doc did hit Tom uh in the left leg. That mean, might mean Tom's going down. But Doc is currently in need of a reload, I think. Right, so Billy Claiborne, Claiborne sorry, uh, can do a move. Maybe like move behind the other Billy. Try that. And then fire. I don't know if this works. Let's, let's find out if this works. Um, Let's just go for Doc again because Doc's the thorn in our side. Well, I mean they're all thorns in our side, aren't they? Really? But let's let's go for this. Okay, um, it's a long shot, so it might not make it. Yes, minor wounds to the left leg. Okay, so I think we've got three three hits on Doc Holiday, if I'm remembering correctly, and in three different locations. Um, what do we do now? Oh, so Ike doesn't have anything? Ike doesn't have anything. Ike's got nothing. Ike's, Ike's not fisting out Doc Holiday's chest. So I think Ike is going to crawl away, right? Um, but there's nothing else that Ike can do. So let's go up. Well, I've hit Billy Clanton's serious wound to the left arm. That doesn't sound great. No, no, that's not great. I guess you're kind of prone. Then. But that might be a better firing position. I don't know. Um, how about move a little bit into cover there? With the cover that we made, with experimental, uh, oh, okay. Dr. Day's reading stuff again. Right, I think, uh, Tom Clary, you should fire again at Doc Holiday. I think you're ho hopefully given some cover behind that table. I'm hoping that's working for you. I'm not quite sure about cover in this game, uh, if I'm perfectly honest. But, it might be working for us. Tom McClary hit Doc Holiday, minor wound to the left leg. Oh, come on. That's two wounds to the left leg, I think. Morgan Earp hit Billy Claiborne, a serious wound to the right arm. That doesn't sound great. Disarmed, or at least prone anyway. 
uh, maybe disarmed. Mitchell up. Hit Tom McClary serious wound to the chest. Oh. Oh. I think everybody's everybody's on their knees. Mitchell up got one. Tom McClary bites the dust. Mortally wounded in the chest. Bad guy scored 25 victory points. Youch. Okay. Um, okay, so we're two down. I think we're just going to need to fire if we can. Can we fire? Yeah, we can. Um, okay, so six, six, six. We try and take out Doc again, but uh, Doc must be close to going. I'd have thought. Uh, uh, let's go seven. That's left, isn't it? And then nine to select. Ooh, pick the target. I don't know what conditions uh, prompt it to ask this, but sometimes you are asked this, which is cool, isn't it? I feel like gut or chest are good. Uh, center mass. Uh, gut, I've got, I've, got, I've got a gut feeling. Billy Claiborne, Miss Doc Holiday. Oh. Shame. Okay, white up. What are you gonna do? Ah, white up. Miss Billy Claiborne. That's good. Doc Holiday. Ah, uh, did something. Right, Ike. What are you gonna do, Ike? Um, you got. You still got no weapon, right? I mean, maybe you can get it back from Doc Holiday. I don't know. Um. Keep moving away. I don't know as much you can do with that. Can you get erect? You can. Well, good for you. Morgan up missed Billy Claiborne. That's good. I um, I appreciate a miss. Billy Claiborne took one. Okay. Uh. Can you go back here? Wrong posture. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't go. I can't hide under the table as a prone person. Um, fair enough. Um, can I just do a do a shoot though? Can I do a shoot? We'll aim for Doc again, I think. Uh, yep, Doc. There's Doc. Let's see if that hits. Um, ch chest this time. Billy Claiborne, Miss Dog Holiday. Oh. Okay, we got a note with Billy Clanton, so we get another turn. Uh, uh, erect. Do we get a chance to fire then, or is that our. No, that's our turn. We're getting up to our turn, that's okay. Virgil up, hit Ike Clanton, minor wound to the left leg. Oh, I think you're down again, Ike, sorry. Sorry about that. I think I fast forwarded to where I saved from there. Doc Holiday hit Ike, oh, Doc Holiday hit Ike Clanton, serious wound to the left arm. Um, I think Ike's gone. Yep, pretty sure. I mean, at the very least, Ike has missing uh, an arm at this point, I think. But Claude hit Ike Clanton, minor wound, it's not left arm. Okay, they're doing their stuff. Oh, moving, okay. Right, um, Ike. Uh, can I go? I don't know what your movement is. Speed is like. Oh, you can't. So you can't move. Oh, that's not great. Can you have any? Oh, you can't do anything. Okay, cool. Uh, well, don't do anything then. That's what I suggest. So, okay. So, Billy is standing and can fire. So let's do that. Let's try and get Doc out because Doc does the most damage of anybody, as, as far as I can tell. So let's attempt that. 
is this good? Is this going to work? Maybe. Oh, Miss Doc Holiday. Heard you that. Miss Ike Lantern. Yes, go Ike. Hug the ground. Okay, Doc's uh, re, re equipping. Uh, then moving. Okay, what well, have hit Billy High One serious wounds to the chest? Billy, I think this might be a Jew. White up, got one. Billy Claiborne bites the dust, mortally wounded in the chest. Bad guy scored 23 VP. So I'm pretty sure we, we can't win on on most fronts now. Morgan up, hit Billy Clanton. Minor wound to the chest. Uh oh. Morgan up, got one. Billy Clanton bites the dust, mortally wounded in the chest. Bad guy scored 31 victory points. Oh. Okay, I'm pretty sure Ike hasn't really got anything to rely on here. Uh, being that, uh, being that, uh, there's no weapon to ready. Movement is not possible. I can ID myself, or I can exit. Okay, so I think Iclan is uh, incapacitated, and is, uh, yeah, is in deep trouble. So I wonder because you can, as, you've, as we've just seen really, you can quite easily try and play this out just in this sort of courtyard area, uh, corral area I suppose. Um, on the right hand side of the screen but there's the whole building structure on the left which I wonder whether it's advantageous to get into it could be potentially I don't know oh my goodness you can move I don't know what prompted that I guess around yeah maybe you have to wait for a round um, I mean I don't know can you get a weapon back in that case I think you should probably head for dock because that's where That's where your weapon is, or was last seen. Okay, Dog Holiday missed. You know what, you might be able to do hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Literally hand-to-hand -hand in uh, Ike's case. Which would be cool. Yeah, Doc, uh, Doc's struggling. Although, oh, hit Ike like and minor wound to the gut. I think, I mean, Ike's already taken a lot. I think that might be it. You know? It's not! Wow, okay. We're gonna do it. Uh, have we got a chance to fight now? No. Okay. So I think Ike's closer, so hopefully the chance of them hitting with their uh, pistols is gonna be reduced. But uh, I think, no, I think this is it. Uh, no, I won't save the game, thanks. Okay, so... I think everybody's going to be getting their weapons ready, so... We've got a chance? Oh no, Doc, Doc always goes first, yeah. Well, let's see if Doc misses three times, shall we? Serious wound to the left leg. I'm sorry, Ike. I'm, I'm very sorry. Doc Holiday hit Ike Lantern, minor wound to the left leg. Doc Holiday missed Ike Lantern. Well, that's a relief. Doc Holiday missed Ike Lantern. How many attacks are you getting? That's five. Doc Holiday got one. Ike Lantern bites the dust. You bet he does. Right, wounded in the left arm. Wounded in the left leg. Cool. Um, victory point totals. Good guys, zero. Bad guys, 110. Bad guys win another game. You know what? Let's give it another go. I think the stream can take another another go. Howdy. 
if um, if there are any six gun shootout players out there um, watching along and you want to offer any advice or even if it's just a you know just talk by as a casual viewer <gasps> you know what I didn't do let me do that quickly is change the uh, game description because otherwise people would be very confused while we're not playing the previous game so I'll do that briefly we're actually playing six gun blimey I mean I'm very impressed that uh, there was both a uh, twitch category for P Noir and six gun shootout Um, yeah, there you go, that'll do. That should give anybody dropping by a better idea of what's happening. Yeah, so I, sh I guess I should mention that um, Six Gun Shoot Tap was released for a few different systems, not just the Apple II, which is what the one I've chosen here. Um, it was on uh, Atari 400 and 800 and 1200 uh, and Commodore 64. So the, some of the staples of the time. Um, so I think we should have another go at the same scenario because we've got we've we've got our feet wet, haven't we? Is that a saying? I think that's the saying. Oh, I need to say I need to select. Uh, uh, we'll be the same set of people because we know what they're capable of. Uh, let's do this. Go and fight the OK crowds. Press space bar to begin. We want no changes. We don't want a personal character. Who are we going to give the dynamite to? I think not Ike Clanton. Uh, Billy seemed a good enough pick as any, so Billy can have it. There you go. And the other guys didn't use their dynamite. I think Doc's pretty powerful, so let's give it to Virgil. Sure, Virgil. There you go. Uh, review forces, no, so we can get started straight away. I think that's how it works. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Okay, so I guess we could try and get in the um, the building, couldn't we? If that if that works, it might work. Okay, so uh, Billy can't do anything, so we'll just pass that turn, and then these guys will do whatever they want to do. Okay, Frank. Uh, can I get Frank to move? Sure, I guess maybe we can get behind. I'm not really sure what the thing that looks like a boom box is. I assume it's not a boom box. Oh, we can't move. We can radio weapon though. Uh, I think the shame is that uh, some of our characters have multiple weapons, but also don't really get the chance to uh, to use them because they get shot to pieces before then. Okay, so I've moved you back, which I think is good, probably. If we spread out a bit, we can um, be less uh, likely to get all taken out. Um, ready a weapon? Go with DA pistol, obviously. Okay, so we've got two folks ready. Um, one missed, which is good. Doc hasn't been. Doc's probably going to go next, I imagine. Yep. Uh, I mean, take your pick. Hit Frank McClary minor wound to the left leg. Cool. You don't get a lot of uh, a lot of wiggle room to start with you in this encounter, but then I guess that's the challenge. Um, no, another wound. Yep. Yep. Missed. That's good. Any more attacks you want to do? I mean, I don't know if you are you firing grape shot. What's what's going on? Bird just getting tooled up. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get Tom. I can't move Tom. So Tom, you get ready with your repeater. I don't really I don't really know enough about guns to know the, what the functional differences between these different uh, different weapons would be. Um, and Ike, you can only ready your knife. 
I think you're going to be a bit of a sacrificial lamb, like, unfortunately. Right, let's get Tom moving up towards this. I think you probably get in the doorway at the top there, which is, I think it's a doorway um, represented by the vertical blue line. That's what I'm heading towards, anyway. Uh, can I do another move? Can I move into that space by pressing 8? I certainly can. Okay, cool. Um, well, I've hit Ike Clan and minor wounds to the chest. Oh, Ike. Oh, Ike. Virtual up, hit Ike Clan and serious wounds to the chest. Ike. So, yeah, so one of the things that I do like about this is that. Oh, Ike's, Ike's gone already. Mortally wounded in the chest. Um, is that. Um, characters have their their kind of set set things so um, there's kind of an implicit even if you don't really know the background of this there's an implicit story in um, what equipment is available to the characters how prepared they seem to be for the situation they're in um, and obviously you can kind of make your own story out of the, the equipment supplied to you uh... Oh wow, okay, so uh, yeah, yeah, uh, they got two two of my guys in one round, uh, 31 victory points. Great, yeah, yeah, that, that, we didn't really stand much of a chance there, did we? Okay, so I think you should move back a space if you can, and then maybe fire on your way out. Um, not sure who's in range exactly, but... Maybe we could go for. Is it Virgil who's down here? Yeah, Virgil. Let's try Virgil! Billy Claiborne missed Virgil up. Oh. That's a shame. Okay, are you going to ready a weapon, Billy Clanton? One of your pistols will do. Cool. Uh, Billy Claiborne took a, took a hit. Uh, Virgil, please don't hit anybody. Yeah. Okay, you missed. That's good. Uh, Doc Holliday doesn't really need to have a go. I don't. I don't think that's fair. Yes. Okay, that worked. I, I fooled the game. Um, I fooled the nineteen eighty five game. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. That's a shame. Um, I guess we're standing here now. Okay. Uh, let's fire. Let's fire on. You know what? I think the terrain type matters as well. So these different types of grassy things also matter. Uh, which is something I'm not really prepared to deal with at this point in time, I don't think. Okay, let's try to take Virgil out again. Oh, he couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. Not today, anyway. Miss Billy Clay one. Okay, that's cool. I'm okay with that. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get you to move from here to this crate. Hide in this crate for a sec, will you? Okay, I don't think Tom can see anybody to hit them, right? Um, I guess I can tr try. I guess I can try and target somebody, but it'll probably tell me that that's not possible. I wonder if you can see... Can you see Virgil from where you are? If you peep around the corner. Is that a line of sight thing you can do? Let's find out. I'm sure it will tell me if that's not the case. Blocked, yeah. No, fair enough. Um, I see get another go. Well, no, I think you're right in that doorway, actually, so you just bide your time there, Tom. Billy Claiborne, seriously. You could have actually, maybe you could have 
targeted white up. Maybe. Oh, Billy Claiborne's down. Okay, we've only got two guys left now. That's not great, is it? Okay, well, let's try and get Billy in this doorway. No, can't do that. Okay, can't do that. Uh, can you? I bet you can't target anybody either, can you? Um, hang on, where did that guy go? They disappeared. That's suspicious. Are you? Oh, are you hidden from view? And oh no, you just not. Oh, maybe you're not within sight. Hmm, because of for for the range of shooting, but that doesn't seem to make a difference to um, the last time we tried. Maybe because you're in the long grass. Yeah. No, so if I can't move, then I don't really want to do anything. Thanks. Uh, don't really want to do anything. I mean, I could try and take out this one, whoever this one is. I can't call. Um, yes. Oh no, don't move. Oh, now you're inside. Okay. Heck. Pressed move. I didn't want to move. Oh. Oh, Tom. I'm sorry. I pressed the wrong thing. Okay. Loaded up. Hit Tom McClary. Serious wound to the gut. Right. Loaded up. Segment one. Loaded up. Hit Tom McClary. Serious wound to the chest. Oh. Oh no! Oh, oh! You know what? I don't think this one's going our way. I think because the margins on this one are so tight. The random number generation does make a big difference. Now you keep disappearing, which I think is pretty tricky. Are you all disappearing? Fab. I think it just means that you're not in view of the ca character currently selected, right? Let's get in this doorway. There you go. Um, and we'll just we'll just wait there, and then we'll pick them off one by one. Whenever they appear, if they ever appear. That was a long pause, wasn't it? I'm not sure what was happening there. Um, uh, okay, let's keep passing and then see what happens. See if somebody comes in range. Okay, Doc is out of view as well. They've all turned invisible. It's, be it's become Predator. So that's good. Uh, and by good I mean not good. Oh, I think the pause is because we don't know where everybody else is, um, so it doesn't even tell us what's happening. It's just got the asterisk while that sort of is computed in the background, which is quite nifty. I mean, obviously this this has various advantages over um, a board game uh, variation of the same kind of thing, in that the computer can. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to save there. Can um, can more easily hide things from you as a player. Um, I'm just going to keep passing until somebody comes into sight. I don't know what these guys are doing. It's interesting though. I mean, it could go and hide in a barrel. That's always a possibility. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to just going to just going to pass this pass this turn. Thanks. Well, I guess if they don't move and I don't move, because they can't see me, we might not do very well. That is possible. This may, may go on forever. Um, 
All oh, right, heck, I can't let this continue forever. I'm going to go into the corner of the ring. There you go. And then... Exit. You know what, now I think about it, what the, the white vertical bar in this room that we're currently in, I don't know what that is. Um, a counter? Maybe a counter? Uh, but it's different to a table. You know what, actually, no, so I think the things outside are like uh, fence posts uh, that are sort of table shaped, and then the more table looking things that are inside are tables. Although there are things that look like tables that might have tablecloths on as well, as well as a chair. I'm not quite sure how we can interact with those. Uh, Alright, let's pass a turn and see if anybody pops up. Yeah, so I think if our characters can make it into rooms, they've probably got a better chance. Probably got a better chance. Don't want to save the game. Uh, oh, I don't see any reason to save the game. Cool. Uh, so I don't think the other the AI controlled characters are gonna do anything to expose themselves. So I guess I'm gonna have to chase after them, unfortunately. So let's move uh, into this doorway with the blue door. There they are! <gasps> now they're probably going to shoot me. Although one of them is not visible. I guess movement takes a long time, so they might have been moving. Morgan Hurt <laughs> hit Billy Clanton minor wound to the chest. I guess if that's the way it's got to go, that's the way it's got to go. Dark Holiday hit Billy Clanton serious wound to the chest. Dark Holiday hit Billy Clanton minor wound to the chest. Dark Holiday hit Billy Clanton minor wound to the chest. Oh gosh. Dark Holiday hit Billy Clanton minor wound to the chest. Dark Holiday hit Billy Clanton minor wound to the chest. Yeah, just have as many goes as you like, Doc. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised that Billy Clanton bites the dust there. Wow, okay. Well, that was that was hard, wasn't it? I got more victory points this time. Let's have another go. I think we've got enough time on the stream to have one more go. I'm going to have a go at the same scenario again. Um, same way round. Um, no changes, no personal character. Um, Billy Clanton gets the dynamite, as ever. Um, uh, sure, Virgil up gets the dynamite. Review forces, no. Okay, so maybe if I can get them slightly into cover, that might help. It'd be help if I had, like, a free choice of what they could do on each turn, but that's not how really the system works, really. Um, let's not save the game. Okay. I think the like the, the turn order is the same. We definitely can't radio weapon, can we? No. I don't know why we get this wasted turn, really. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Cool. Alright, so you... Billy Claiborne, you can only ready a weapon, so do that, please. Oh, Doc Holiday's letting rip again. Um, yep, Frank. Uh, Frank's going down. Possibly. No, or oh, one missed. Okay, Frank might be around for another. Go oh no, perhaps not. Hoping Frank. No, Frank's not going to make it to the next round, is he? Gone. Oh, no, okay. He's, yeah, right. We're charging into action. I feel like Pike should uh, 
savage someone with a knife. How about that? Okay, you can move, Frank. I advise it. I advise this movement. Do you get another movement? You do not. Okay, well, you did a thing. Well, I'm just going to shoot Billy Clanton. Minor wound to the chest. Not Billy Clanton. Okay. Um, Billy Clanton, you should. You can move now. So let you go around the corner. And if you get another... No, you don't get another action. Right, so Ike is going to go move diagonally downwards. And then hopefully you get an attack, yep. Yeah. Attack target is Virgil. Right. Hopefully we can just do a do a knifey stab. Um so fight hand to hand? Yes. I can't hit Virgil. Up uh, serious wound to the left leg. I guess that's the thing with a knife, if you're actually next to someone you can do a lot of damage. Um. Okay, Doc Holiday here. I clamp. Nah, that's the other disadvantage is that Doc Holiday is standing right next to you with uh, a shotgun that uh, is likely to take you out, but uh, maybe it was worth it. Yeah, I think Ike's probably going down. Oh, but not out. Okay. I think you should ready a weapon. Billy Clanton. Morgan up. Missed Ike Clanton. Oh, amazing. What is like? Missed Ike Clanton. Okay. Well, hit Ike Clan and serious wounds to the chest. I think that might be Ike gone. Ooh, yeah, why I've got one. Ike Clan and bites the dust, mortally wounded in the chest. Bad guy scored 25 victory points. Oh. Well, Ike contributed, I would say, which is not always the case uh, in this uh, scenario. Right, I think we should, we should try and do a bit more damage, shouldn't we? Let's, uh, should we try and, I mean, Virgil, so Virgil's already down, should we try Virgil again? Miss Virgil, uh, that was unfortunate, I would say. Okay, so, Tom... Hmm. Can you? Well, let's risk it. Let's see if you can move and fire. If you move back one, and then fire down to straight down, if you please, to Doc Holiday before he uh, gets re-equipped. Tom Clary missed Doc Holiday. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Um, Frank McLaurie, can you ready a weapon? I think you can. Okay. Well, get a, get a pistol then. And then, Billy Claiborne can. Ooh, can fire. Well, what if you sort of move back a bit and then fire? We'll try, we'll try Virgil again. I don't know how well that will go, but we can, we can certainly attempt it. Okay. Uh, uh, nine. Missed Virgil. Well, I'm kind of not surprised, to be perfectly honest. Okay, we're gonna missed Billy Claiborne. Good. So far I've still got four standing, well, standing or prone, which is unusual, I would say. 
Um, you usually can't do a fire in them move, can you? But uh, we'll just do a fire. In this case, we'll try. We'll try dark again. I think this range might not be suiting us. Possibly. It's hard to know what's just a bad roll and what's. Um, yeah. Uh, made very much unlikely by uh, the range that we're firing at. Okay. Uh, well, that missed Billy Claiborne. That's good. I'll take it. Okay. All right. So Billy Clanton is, is kind of has some cover. Can we do a fire? Uh, can we get rid of Virgil? I mean, I think we'll be doing a lot. We'd be having a much better. Ooh, we hit Virgil up, minor wound to the chest. We'd be doing a lot better this round if we managed to take one of them out. I think. Okay, well, Miss Billy Claiborne, that's good. Who's our prone character? I feel like we haven't been back to them very much lately. But I guess um, turn frequency might be affected by your other status as well possibly it all does seem a bit a bit nebulous to me but I um, feel like I'm kind of gripping enough of what's going on to have a have a go at it well I'm just gonna get uh, Tom McClary in cover in the doorway Uh, Billy Claiborne, serious wound to the gut. That doesn't sound so great. No, I don't like that. Uh, right. Um, let's you back up, back up a bit. Yeah. Can you? No, you can't do anything else. That's fine. Okay, Virgil. Okay. Uh, Billy Clayton, Let's try and just try and get Virgil again. So let's try Virgil again. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Billy Clanton missed Virgil up. Up. Okay. Uh, Frank McClowry. I think you made it further than I thought you would. I think you should hop into this boom box quickly. Wrong posture? Well, I think you should definitely erect yourself in that case. That's probably your turn taken. Yep, don't want to start. This is turn two! Crikey. Um, even though this is sort of relatively a, uh, a small a game where you can play in small bites. Um, it's sort of ex expansive enough, I think, within a certain within each scenario to um, to feel like a substantial uh, gaming session. Um, I think we're just getting. I think Frank's. I think Frank's gone. I think Frank's gone. Yeah. Sorry, Frank. Maybe you shouldn't have erected yourself after all. Hmm. Just make you a target. Right. Uh, uh, white up. Morgan up. Yep. Tom Clary. Uh, ooh. Hmm. Uh,. I think you're just staying there, aren't you? And then, uh, right, Billy Clanton then. Uh, has never hit anyone, but <laughs> does like to try. Okay. Um, let's, I mean, the only one he seems like they're really in any kind of range is once again Virgil, so let's try. Try and get Virgil. I don't think, if we, I think if we hit Virgil, yeah, serious wound to the left leg. We might be able to take him out because he's taken a few wounds already, or at least one serious one already. 
Um, so you think maybe too serious? No, okay, I didn't do it. Um, right, so you would. You can't change your posture or move, but you can fire. So, heck, let's take a pot shot right at Virgil. Why not? Oh, okay. Um, go straight for the head. Oh, missed Virgil up. I mean, I feel like the head's what would be facing me, but yeah. what can you do, eh? Okay, what are these guys doing? Being a bit sneaky, I think. Yeah, are they reloading? Maybe they have to reload. Um, I think we'll know when we need to reload. I think the Apple II, as as uh, as basic as its sound functions are, does make a sort of a clicking, uh, no bullet in the chamber kind of sound, um, which is quite nice. All right, so I think we can get we can get Virgil from here, right? It is a known it is a known thing. So let's try that again. Is if we can at least get Virgil. Yes, a serious wound to the gut. Yeah, that's got to be Virgil gone, right? That's three serious wounds. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, 28 victory points. Okay, well, we've still got three people in our team. Um, they, they, I mean, one of them's in a bad way, for sure. Um, can you, I mean, I doubt you can get Doc, but we can try it, I suppose. Uh, let's try it. Oh, out of range. Oh, it told me how they were out of range. So that's what I need to look for. Because then I'll know if I'm wasting my time or not. Oh, okay. Well, this is a bit risky, isn't it? Can I just fire straight at this person, please? This Morgan Herb. Oh yeah, so uh, perhaps I need to pay attention to what it says under range, because it says range of one. Um, and I can look in the documentation if I want to see what specific effects that has, I suppose. About range is also good to know. Okay, um, chest, definitely. Fight hand to hand? No? Billy Clanton hit Morgan up. Minor wound to the chest. Yeah. There's something. Probably not. Oh, it didn't knock you down. Okay. Interesting. So, you, guy, can you go after the same person? Can you go after Morgan? Is Morgan in range? Let's see what happens when this information disappears. I think so. Yeah, well, that minor wound to the chest. So that's two chest wounds, so maybe you're going down? At least onto your knees, you know. Okay, well, we're definitely drawing them after us. But unfortunately, that means that Doc Holliday is probably going to blow a few holes through uh, Billy Clanton. Yep. Sorry, Bill. Uh huh. I think that's yeah. That's that's yeah. I thought that might be it. Oh, okay. Go inside the building. Interesting. Right. So can Tom? Now I know what I'm kind of what I'm looking for. Can Tom get uh, sights on? Uh, anybody here? That's what I would like to know. I mean, that's a range of quite a few. Uh, range of six? But it doesn't say you're out of range, so let's try it. Missed. Yeah, I guess six is quite a, quite a long range by both game standards, isn't it? With a repeater, which I, I don't know the range of. Oh, Billy Claiborne. You poor thing. Doc Holiday. Oh, you need to get yeah, get equipped. 
I guess Doc Holliday might be getting out of the shotgun, running out of shotgun uh, ammo, possibly. Uh, well, I feel like maybe if we head into the room? Hmm, let's try that. Uh, well, they'd have to come to us, which I don't know if they actually would or not, but... Uh, I think... So, if we stand up to go into the boom box, uh, that takes two turns, but we can just fire now. So, I think that's the most um, efficient use of our time and abilities. So, let's just go for Morgan, who has sustained some injury, let's not forget. Uh, and see if we can get him in the gut. It seems like it should be doable from a low down position. Morgan up serious wound to the gut. Okay, is that enough to get Morgan down on the ground? Cool, I think our weapon just uh, ran out of... I don't want to save the game. But, okay, well... Okay, White Ops disappeared from view. Morgan missed Billy Claymore. Okay, that's fine. Uh, ready a weapon. Do we have another weapon? Okay. Nice. Doc is probably going to blast somebody. No, not blasting somebody. Okay. I think Tom's going to wait there in the corner. And something's happening out of view. What up, Mr. Billy Claiborne? Where are you, cheeky white up? Are you there? Oh, I guess if you maybe if you um, are in the long grass or something and go um, on your knees or prone, then you're out of view. That might be it. Right, uh, Tom isn't good, it's just waiting for them. So Tom's gonna do that. Uh, can I fire? I don't know if I've, I don't, I might need to load as well, but I'll risk it. Let's see what happens. I'd like to think it would tell me if I'm out. Oh no, so I think I used my HDA pistol and I've only got the MDA pistol left, which would make sense. No, that's Morgan out. Ignore me, ignore me. Uh, let's see if this works. Click, yes. All right, we need to load. Uh, we probably won't make it to the state of being able to load yet, yeah. uh, but that's what we needed to do. Oh, Billy Claiborne. Okay, so. Well, now you've disappeared, interesting. So, um, what are we gonna do with Tom then? Should we... I mean, we could go on a little jaunt. I don't know if that's advisable. Let's see how far we can go to the left here in one, one turn. Oh, two, okay. Something's happening. Doc Holiday is uh, going, oh, disappearing. Interesting. I kind of like it when it gets a bit more mysterious like this. Oh, they definitely, definitely, oh. Oh, I don't like this asterisk. It's asterisk of doom. Okay, so I'm kind of going to head over here towards the other doorway and hide in that because then I should be able to be in a pretty Defensible position both ways, hopefully. Uh, let's not save the game. Cool. Uh, and then move. And then, oh, I can't move. Um, should I just. But I'll pass the turn, and if you're not going to let me move, how rude. Still should be alright if anybody hoves into view. Uh, 
Right, so what I want to do is go across one. Now I can move and then diagonally into that doorway. And then I don't know if anybody will appear within sight. Apparently not. Let's wait and see what happens. A long pause followed. A bear walks into a bar. The barman says, why the long pause? Um, uh, let's pass the turn again, see what happens. We won't be in the same situation where they don't really advance and we don't really advance. I don't want to save the game, thanks. Pass the turn. Uh, pass the turn. Give them a chance to make some progress, shall I? In whatever rooms they've decided to conceal themselves. Pass the turn. I mean, if anybody is dropping by on Twitch, this is the kind of action that you've come here for, I am entirely sure. Uh, and you're very welcome. I'm glad you're here. Okay, it's our turn again. Okay. Um, you know what, I can't... I'm going to bottle it. I'm going to move this way. See if anybody appears. Nobody has appeared. That's weird. I don't want to save the game, no thanks. Okay, anybody going to turn up? Anybody going to be visible? Do I win if I go off the screen to the left? Is that how I win? Um, oh heck, let's just go down this corridor, why not? What's the worst that can happen in a corridor? Oh, I can't do anything. Um, can't move. So let's just stay here and see what happens. Sure. Uh, let's go. Let's go down the corridor. When when nobody is and nothing happens, because that's that's the kind of corridor that you get. Okay, somebody's got to turn up. There's three. There's three guys out there hunting me down. They're not doing a very good job so far. Unless they're just waiting for me to turn into a, a particular doorway, which um, I think I might oblige them with almost immediately. There's somebody! Great, I can shoot them, maybe. I think Doc Bond has just been waiting in this room for several turns. Don't you? I don't think we've done any damage to Doc Holiday in this, this uh, playthrough, have we? Shame. Uh, the other guys are doing unspecified stuff in other places. Doc Holiday is not currently loaded up. Can I fire upon Doc Holiday? Can I fire upon this table? Can I fire upon the dock? Yep, yeah, yeah, uh, sure. Uh, maybe? Let's try it. Hit Doc Holiday, my wing to the chest. Okay, it works. You know what, Tom might Tom, Tom might win it for us, yeah. Maybe the, the correct strategy is going all around the houses.
Okay. Uh, a bit, uh, I think we should just fire. We should just fire. At the dock, who is on holiday. Yep, that's, that's the person. Serious wound to the chest. Wow. I think either we got lucky or um, Doc got vulnerable. Amazing. Okay. So there's two more guys out there. I guess uh, Lone Lone Wolf Tom McClary is going to head down here. And have to check out this corridor, see if there's anybody down here. Uh, not apparently. Well, let's go down. It's, there's lots of ways to shoot into the room above, so that seems like it might be useful. Although I don't know if anybody's going to turn into the room above from wherever they are. I think they're either in the topmost rooms or in a little outbuilding in the corral? Or just hiding in the, the corral in general. Yeah, so this this stuff I like where you kind of the story is is what is happening through um, the course of play, and you just sort of making up as part of the the procedure of what's going on. Um, can't do anything. Can I load? Is that good? If I can't do anything else, I might as well load, might I? I don't know if that works actually. It might work. Uh, I don't know if you can only load effectively once you've uh, run out of ammunition, but uh, there wasn't a lot else I could do there really, so it was worth a try, I suppose. Okay. Uh, and then. More move? Thanks. I, yeah, at the moment I have no idea where these uh, where these folks are. I'm getting loads of movement at the moment. Have they have they got ensnared in bear traps or something while I've been moving around? What's going on? I guess I get there are fewer combatants overall, so I get to take turns more often. That would make sense. Uh, Tom Clary, signal 1, move command 1 to 8, P, K, E, X. Uh, I guess I'm going to move out into the corral and see what happens. Maybe not the wisest move, but... Well, no, actually, no. Uh, if I head straight across, continue heading straight across, I'm going to head for the outbuilding, and I can scope that out. And then I'll loop back round to the top of the main building. No save. Well, this I think has gone on longer than uh, than any other round of this scenario I've played before, which in itself is quite intriguing. Uh, let's keep moving. I like it. This has gone. This has gone cat and mousey, hasn't it? Um, there's not really anything I can effectively do there, so. I shan't. Okay, see so if anybody pops up. No. Ah. Morgan up. How come you're... Have you just been crawling around here, Morgan? Are you gonna... Okay, well, I'm, I'm just gonna fire. Sorry, dude. What happened? Did you get double crossed? Can't remember. Serious wound to the left leg. That might be enough. Not sure. If you're already down. Minor wound to the left arm. Great. Hopefully we're right handed. Ok, 
Okay, well let's just fire again, I think. Um, let's just try it. Uh, oh, that's not good. Okay, we missed. So, uh, Morgan Earp's going to get another shot, probably. All right, well, we might we might fall at this hurdle, but um, I think it proved to be a more effective strategy than oh, we did get another go. Okay, let's just fire again. Uh, more effective strategy than either of our previous two, so that's good. I don't really know about all the ins and outs. Oh no, no, uh, no, that's not. I wanted to press nine there. Thank you, nine. Okay, um, let's go for ch chest. Chest? Oh, I don't know what the difference makes, to be honest. Okay, now you're probably gonna get a shot off at us. No? Yes? No? Who's the, what's the background person doing? Where are they? Okay. Alright, let's try again. We'll get, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Given enough time. Oh. Goodness me. Warm it up. Okay, you missed, yeah, we're missing each other. Cool. Alright, what if we do that? And then fire. Right? Is that is that gonna work? Like hand to hand? Yes. Oh wow. Okay, we missed. <laughs> oh, perhaps I should have shot. I thought it might be more effective to just kind of hit him with the butt of the gun or something. Okay, let's uh, let's try. This is a real uh, comedy of errors, isn't it? Uh, sure. Uh, not hand to hand. Missed. Oh my goodness. We'll need to reload soon if we haven't already. Okay, now you've got a gun again. Are you gonna? No. This well this has gone on a lot longer than I thought it might. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> yep. We'll hit one of these days, I'm sure we will. Uh so no to hand to hand, I'm gonna say again. Missed again. Hecaroony. Morgan Earp, Morgan Earp, hit Tom Clary, serious wounds to the chest. Well, we're going to be on our knees, aren't we? Oh no! You got us. Oh, you got lucky. You got lucky, Morgan Earp. Well, I think we did alright. We actually got some points that time. We got 56. Uh, another game. Not today, thank you. But I'll say yes so we can see the menu again. Howdy. Fab. Well, thank you very much to anybody who has watched along. We've just been playing... Uh, six Gun Shootout for Apple II, an SSI game, um, Western themed, um, based on a selection of historical and Hollywood scenarios. So maybe another time, um, perhaps I'll keep Six Gun Shootout um, in the holster for whenever we need a backup game. And we can always trot out a new scenario, maybe. That would be fun. And before that, we played the really very excellent P Noir. Um, by uh, Picogram, uh, which was a very lovely pixel art uh, noir hardball detective uh, elementary school adventure game. Um, it was it was a delight. So both of those things will be uploaded as uh, videos to my YouTube channel. That's Consequences on YouTube. You can find that uh, through a link in my bio, or you can just search YouTube for me. Um, I will be streaming again this time next week. 
Um, I'm not sure exactly what. Well, well let's wing it. And um, if you'd like to check out other Let's Plays and stream VODs, then head over to YouTube for those. Um, you can follow along in both places. I do have a coffee tip jar. I do have a Patreon that you may wish to check out if you'd like to support the channels. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I hope you're all well. I hope you have a good week. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.